I don't know. I don't know about this. Hey guys, it's Zhang, and today I'm gonna be trying out Gigi Hadid's famous spicy vodka pasta and then seeing if I can make it more yummy. I've already heard so many great things about her pasta and know that it's already delicious, so let's see if we can do this. All right, so it looks like she has the directions here. A quarter cup of olive oil. This is more oil than I'm used to cooking with, but hey, you probably need it. Okay, quarter cup of this. And then I'll add a little less than a quarter of red onions because she didn't have shallots, so we're not gonna use shallots either. Add it in. And garlic, she didn't specify how many, so I just used three garlic cloves. Cook till soft, and then you're supposed to add a quarter cup of tomato paste, but she didn't have any, so she used tomato basil sauce tomato sauce, which I also have marinara, so I'll do that once this is ready. I like how she uses substitutions when she doesn't have an ingredient available. Makes it a little more flexible. All right, so I know she said a quarter cup of olive oil, but mine looks a lot more oil heavy than hers, so I wonder if she used a little less olive oil than a quarter cup. Regardless, now I'm gonna add the tomato basil. Cook it until it's caramelized. Okay, it's starting to thicken up. Good thing I'm not wearing white, <laughs> red on red. Okay, so my tomato is starting to get a little thicker and caramelized, but it's still really, really oily. Huh. Okay, so now she calls for half a cup of heavy cream and then some crushed red peppers if you like it hotter. I'll just give it a few shakes. She also notes that before this step, you would add one tablespoon of vodka and cook it off, but I think because she was pregnant, she left it out. Okay, so mine's actually turning out kind of oily. I don't know. I don't know about this. I definitely think the tomato paste would have been a lot better, but because we use like a tomato basil sauce, she also noted that she used a tomato basil sauce because she didn't have basil to garnish at the end. So, hmm, keep stirring till combined and then season with salt and pepper. It's starting to thicken up a lot. It's turning into like a very light pink color. Really pretty. Season. Okay, so when she says to remove hers from heat, her sauce is looking really thick. Mine is still fairly runny. Ooh. So we're just gonna let it kind of simmer for a little bit longer. I'm trying to get to her consistency here. Yeah, for a while I was seeing this all over Instagram and TikTok, which I finally just joined. So if you guys are on TikTok, go ahead and follow me at Zung Lewis. I do some fun stuff over there with air fryers. So now we're gonna cook our pasta. In the video, she used like these tiny, tiny shells, which is actually pretty perfect because I buy these uh, shells and white cheddar mac and cheese for my kids and they hate these shells. And now we add the pasta in. They look like the ones that she used, model size. So the pasta along with a quarter of a cup of pasta water and then a tablespoon of butter and then stir it over medium heat till the butter has melted and the sauce is saucy. Whoa, whoa, it is coming together and it is nice and saucy. Wow, okay. And then last step, she adds a quarter cup of Parmesan and stir. good. Dent. Wow. I have to say, I'm a little bit surprised because she is a model. They have like this like notion where they just eat leaves, green leaves and super healthy things. But like this is, this looks really good. Okay, let me just give it a quick taste. Mmm, mmm. It's really good. I definitely, well, she says to add more salt and pepper to taste, and I would add probably another pinch of salt, but this pasta is very, very rich. Like, I typically don't eat things this rich, so I'm gonna try and see if I could make it more yummy by adding my own touch to Gigi's recipe. 
All right, so now let's try my version. So her version was actually really good and I'm actually gonna lighten it up a little tiny bit and make it more of a complete pasta meal. Typically, I just don't eat pasta and sauce by itself. It's good, but I always feel like I need protein and some veggies in there, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start by drizzling a little bit of olive oil into my pan on medium high heat. And then once it gets nice and hot, I'm gonna add in some chicken thighs that I've already cut up. If you wanna keep this purely vegetarian, go ahead and just skip this step or you can add like whatever protein you like. I'll season it with some salt and pepper and we're just gonna cook it on each side until it's mostly cooked for a few minutes. Go ahead and remove it onto another plate. And now we work on our spicy vodka sauce. So like I said, I'm using mostly similar things as Gigi's recipe, but I'm gonna lighten it up. Instead of a quarter cup, I'm only gonna use two tablespoons of well, olive oil. Okay, our pan is already nice and hot, so I'm actually gonna start by sauteing the shallots first until it's nice and golden brown. All right, this is smelling really good. I love the smell of fried shallots. Now we're gonna add, this time I did five cloves of garlic because I like it really garlicky. Stir it in for a minute and then now I'm gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes and sliced mushrooms. I'm just soaking the sun-dried tomatoes in the oil and just like giving the mushrooms a little bit of flavor before I add our tomato paste. This is smelling so yummy. For the tomato paste, I will also be adding a quarter cup. I'm just eyeballing it. Just stirring it up until it caramelizes. Mm. Our tomato paste is looking nice and thick, so now I'm gonna add our vodka to this spicy vodka sauce. I got this cute little one. It's 50 milliliters. I think it's about two ounces or two tablespoons, but we'll add two tablespoons. and just let the alcohol cook off before we add our cream. For the cream, I'm only doing a quarter cup here because I did think the other one was way too rich for me. And just stir it all up. Yes, okay. All right, I'm gonna turn off the heat and then I'm gonna add some crushed chili peppers in here. Stir it up and then we're gonna add our chicken back in. So for my spicy vodka, I like using rigatoni. I just love the two pasta. It soaks in the sauce from inside out. Just love it. So I'm gonna toss it in with the chicken and then turn the heat back on. I'm gonna add the pasta water, like half a cup, some butter, and then stir, stir, stir. If you wanted this a little bit lighter and creamier, but without like the heaviness of heavy cream, you can always add a little bit of milk, which I think I might try to be honest. It definitely achieved the similar color as hers. I'm gonna let it heat all the way through so our pasta is nice and hot. I'm also gonna be adding Parmesan cheese at the end, but right before I do that, I'm gonna toss in a bunch of spinach leaves. Mix it up, it'll like wilt to nothing. And then we'll finish it off with Parmesan cheese. This looks delicious. But let's see how it compares to Gigi's. And there you guys have it, Gigi's spicy vodka sauce versus mine. They both look very, very different, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we'll do a side-by-side -side taste test. For some reason, when I look at her pasta, I just wanna eat it with a spoon, cause that's how my kids eat their mac and cheese, and this reminds me of mac and cheese. Mmm, that's really good. <laughs> I did add a little bit more salt, just to, the spice hits you at the end. But now let's dig into mine. As you can see, I put less cream in than hers. I mean, cream's not a bad thing, I just don't like a ton of it. Let's just try the pasta first. Mmm, mmm, it's really similar. 
except definitely not as rich and you have a more concentrated tomato flavor not just because I used the tomato paste but because I added in the tomato the sun-dried tomatoes it just adds like that depth of tomato -y in there and then I also added vodka into my pasta to be honest I do feel like it has more of a bitteriness to it but you can barely tell hmm hmm Side note, chicken cooked in spicy vodka sauce is also delicious. If you guys want the tried and true version of Gigi's, definitely do that. But if you want a lightened up, more filling, balanced, rounded out version, definitely give mine a try. Both are pretty good. I would say both are very yummy. Both recipes are written out in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys end up recreating my recipe, be sure to tag me on TikTok or on Instagram at honeysuckle, TikTok is Zung Lewis. Very confusing, I know. Hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!